Alright guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you guys are all doing well and today we are going to be talking about Willian in a Chelsea news video. But as usual, I would like to request that you subscribe to my channel if you are a returning visitor or someone who enjoys the content and hit the bell notification icon. Okay, today we are going to be talking about Willian. Just Willian. And I'll tell you why. A new story broke recently about Willian getting Chelsea's number 10 shirt. Indeed, being the successor to Eden Hazard and wearing the fabled number 10. Naturally, Twitter has exploded with negativity. So there's a few opinions and thoughts of my own that I'd like to express on this matter. This was quoted from an interview Willian did with, I guess it was a Brazilian interviewer, regardless it was in Portuguese and he was asking him about the number 10 shirt and basically Willian came out and said yes I will be getting the number 10 now Hazard's gone or it is mine or something like that something along those lines apparently he wasn't joking I don't speak Portuguese I haven't watched the video I'm literally reacting off news reports and what people are saying on social media now the Brazilian winger has been wearing the number 10 for Brazil he's a widely recognized player in world football Willian um, a lot of teams are jealous of well, a lot of teams wonder why Chelsea fans get frustrated with Willian. I mean, Willian is a very talented footballer. I've done videos on why I feel that Willian might have a better season this season at Chelsea, moving over back to his native left wing position and also having the burden lifted of no longer having to play in the same team with Eden Hazard. I've done a video on how Chelsea can play better as a team without Eden Hazard and it sort of involves the concept of fellow teammates having an inferiority complex. Anyway. A lot of theories came together on how I feel Willian will be better this season. Anyway, I'm digressing here. If you had asked me would you choose Willian for the number 10 next season or this season, I probably would have said no, but I absolutely would not react so negatively like a bunch of Chelsea fans have reacted. Sure, Willian is an underperforming player in many respects, certainly offensive numbers like goals. Uh, people get frustrated to watch him play sometimes and feel like he should be scoring more goals. Maybe he will this season, we'll have to see, but I agree with that. But by no means is Willian a bad player. He's actually an incredibly creative winger. He makes 2.5 key passes per game, which is like more than double than Pulisic or Pedro, um, you know, more than Callum Hudson are doing. He just frustrates with end product. The truth is, Willian won't be at Chelsea much longer. He's in his 30s now and it's probably his swan song at Chelsea. And remember, he's a long time servant of the club now. So Eden Hazard's just left the club. It was his shirt. It was Eden Hazard 10. How would he felt leaving his shirt to, or who would he prefer to leave his shirt to? Now, he was really good mates with Willian. They were really close. They loved playing together. They were long-term servants together. They've been around, they'd been at the club approximately the same time. I think Willian might have come a year later, maybe, or around the same time as Hazard. So if you said to Hazard, what would be your best successor plan to your number 10 shirt? He could well say, oh, I'd love it to go to my friend Willian for like, you know, the final year or two. And then, you know, maybe the future Chelsea legend Callum hudson Adoy or whatever moving on. So there's that sort of sentimental perspective theory on it. And the truth is, it would be a temporary allocation going to Willian for a little bit. I mean, what are the alternatives? Well, there's two obvious alternatives, and that's the young wingers and Christian Pulisic and Callum hudson Adoy. Now, the argument for giving it to Christian Pulisic will be he's a big money signing, um, he's a young, talented player who's just arrived, and it would very much be a positive marketing ploy, Pulisic 10, you know, to sell shirts in America. But again, Pulisic's not a kind of player that would have come and demanded the number 10. He just wants to have that jump up to Chelsea, play in London, uh, and maybe earn the number 10. I don't certainly think it's something that he demands. To be honest, he probably might be wary of touching it straight away, coming to a new club. He tries to be humble and professional and then getting Eden Hazard's shirt. Is that something he would have demanded or wanted? I'm not so sure. And of course, there's the perspective and argument for Callum hudson Adoy, the academy superstar that broke through to the first team last season. Now, if you look at it on paper, as like a sort of pragmatic football fan analyzing the situation, you might say, well, 
It's a romantic notion to give him the number 10, but that's mental. He's just come into the team and he's a teenager. So maybe wait a year or two and give him the number 10 and see how things pan out with him, you know, and see how his injury heals and all this sort of stuff. But the, there is a sort of idea that this number 10 shirt is a negotiating bargaining chip to, to get Hudson Adoy to sign a new deal. Now think about that. That's kind of wrong, really. I mean, if you want to play for the club, you should want to play for the club and maybe earn the shirt. If, if this teenager who's come through has been offered loads of money, first team, loads of first team minutes, is also demanding Eden Hazard's number 10 shirt to stay at Chelsea. I mean, come on, do you, do you, would you want a player behaving like that? Certainly a young kid who's only just broken through the team. Personally, I'm a huge Callum Hudson-Odoi fan. I think he's an incredibly talented young player, but I'm a fan of Chelsea Football Club as well, and I want Chelsea to be run like a strong football club and not necessarily bending to, I was going to say player demands, let alone a young player demands who's not really had a tenure at Chelsea yet. So you look at William. William's been at Chelsea for a long, long time. He's played loads and loads of minutes. He's been a good servant, even if he's underperforming offensively. Would it be the worst thing in the world for him to keep the shirt warm for a season for his final part of his Chelsea career to see him off? And then we'll analyse Christian Pulisic, Callum Hudson-Odoi, who's been performing better, who's been giving most for the shirt. Has Hudson-Odoi continued making kissy faces at Bayern Munich? If so, maybe, you know, take that into consideration. The fact of the matter is, it's a shirt. And you could bring positives and negatives out of any one player that takes this number 10 shirt. I mean, obviously, within reason, giving it to Danny Drinkwater would just be peculiar, hilarious, and dreadful. But to be honest, I would probably feel a little bit uncomfortable with Christian Pulisic getting it straight away, and for him almost as well. I think that adds loads of pressure. Um, with Callum hudson Doy, it's a romantic notion, but you feel like he might have held a gun to Chelsea's head to get it if Chelsea hadn't just offered it as a, you know, as a sort of bit of a carrot on a stick for him. And then with Willian, really, all it would, it would just upset the Chelsea fans who think he's underperforming for the club. But in terms of perhaps who has sort of been the servant, who deserves it, who's been there longer, I don't think anyone within the club, like the teammates, the players that play for Chelsea, I don't think any of them would have an issue with Willian taking it. Imagine if you played in that Chelsea squad, you've played with William for years, you've won trophies with him, he's been at training every single day with you, sweating, going ill, getting better, going through like an emotional journey with his mum and you have this bond and they said to you, look, your friend William, say you're asking Espelicueta, your friend William can get it for a season while these youngsters get better and integrated into the team um, or do you think we should immediately give it to this teenager who's been threatening to go to Bayern Munich, or do you think we should immediately give it to the, this, um, this like a new signing who hasn't even played a, a competitive game yet? Do you see what I mean? There's different perspectives and ways to look at it. It's essentially, it, it annoys so many people because it's symbolic. Obviously, it doesn't actually matter, <laughs> but it's like a symbolic thing. The point being, for my opinion, Chelsea could give the number 10 shirt to any one of those three players and I'd be okay with it. Do you know what I mean? If it goes to Callum Hudson the door, you could tell that maybe it was a part of a bargaining chip for him to sign a new contract. If it goes to Christian Pulisic, it's because of a sort of marketing promotional thing. And if it goes to Willian, it goes as a sort of reward for service and maybe a swan song for a season or two before he leaves Chelsea. If Willian scored like five more goals last season, this conversation wouldn't even be happening. You'd be like, oh, he's been a good servant. He's picked up his game a little bit. He wears the number 10 for Brazil all of a sudden. It really doesn't matter. But, you know, we'll have to see what happens. And if there's any, I'm going to say truth in this news story, by all accounts, it's what Willian said and it's been translated. But I'd like to put the question to you. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I mean, I'm kind of on the fence, so I don't know if you can disagree with me. But do you think people are being reactionary online to this uh, potentiality? Do you think... Would you, what would you, do you think Hazard would want Willian to wear it for a year or two before one of the young kids takes it? What do you think? Do you think it's really... A smart move as a marketing ploy to immediately give it to Pulisic and sell a bunch of shirts or do you not want Chelsea to sort of run like that 
Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's an interesting talking point. Uh, like the video if you've enjoyed the content and subscribe if you are new. If you look down in the description, there's some plugs for my Instagram and Twitter handle as well as a link to my Patreon to become a patron for $1 a month and gain access to exclusive content. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Enjoy the football and I'll see you later. With that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines I rap through thought Body bag the verse Outline the chuck In my life seen trouble Hustle on the double Silence on the trigger Like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle Bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper Sorry I don't I love me baby